And during the 10 days of the big preparation, the silent retreat went well apart from one mega episode. Sister Elsina preparing for her big event, developed gastroenteritis. And it wasn't just an inflammation of the, the guts from stealing, yes, stealing the vegetarian curry from Sister Alphonse's pantry, but she shared it with polyarthriticus. Yes, she did. And then suinitis, and not only her, but Mary Gonzilla, Hilarious of Monza, Theoticus, Ricardibus, Personificatus, and Heatherina of Casfield. Oh, oh, and Sister Vomiticus were all laid low. And Sister Marguerite, Mrs. Doyle, was spared. But golly gosh, she had the worst job. She was the runner. The runner. And this is what she had to say. Sure, Jesus, I'd been run and ragged. I had all of them laid low in the beds. And God love them, they couldn't make the toilet. Sure, they were at the other end of the wing. But sure, I fed them well. I made sure I boiled the water and put a pinch of salt in it because of their... Is it electrolyte imbalance? That's it. Oh, and a bit of sugar. But Jesus, Mary and Joseph, they were coughing, they were spluttering, they were running. In fact, poor sister Elsie and Alta was scared to cough. Because each time she coughed, it meant a complete bed set. And poor sister Barnabas still saw. She was run ragged in the laundry, scrubbing scrubbing the sheets but they were so old they got holes so Mother Abundancia had to be approached to buy new bedding so she went to Walmart she did and she equipped all the beds with new linen fresh linen for the big day and guess what the diarrhoea and the vomiting subsided after three days three days it was hell on earth and I'm telling you now, talk about having dropped foot and being told by Sister Patricia Dupont that I'm going to mother a child, five of them, and meet the man of me dreams. That's what kept me going, I'm telling you now. But guess what? The eve of the profession was great. There was giggling in the dormitory. There was great giggling. And we loved it. We loved it. Oh, we did. We loved it. We laughed ourselves that much we thought our watches would never dry. But you know what? I think it was about two o'clock in the morning when we finally got to sleep. Because the early morning bell, the Benedictus went at half past five. And I'm telling you, we'd all bags around our eyes. So all that lovely facial that we had and the bouffant hairdo, well the hair was all flat as a pancake. So it took us ages to get groomed and spruced up and get the smellies out. All oh, them freebies. But some of them I wouldn't put near a cat, not at all. But let me tell you, <gasps> Sister Nirmaline Tinas, she had a great idea. Spray it under your armpits. Don't put it near your face. Oh, don't put it near your face, she said, because Sister Personificatus had a rash. Oh, she did. She tried it out as soon as it arrived. And you'll never guess what. The post arrived just in time. And me all in one came. Me Trini and Susanna. It did. Oh, Jesus, I was made up. But the only problem was the fat appeared under me armpits. So instead of being able to lift me arms, I was sort of restrained by the fat. But I tell you what, I looked the bee's knees. I had a waistline. I've never had a waistline. Not in a month of Sundays, but I'm telling you now. I got the habit on. 
and I got the white fail all nicely ironed the night before, ready for the whole whatever. And then the bell went, and I'm telling you, there was a rush for the washroom, because we had to share everything. It was all communal bathing. Oh, I'm telling you now. And the water was freezing cold, but we didn't mind. We were so excited. And we all made our way into the chapel. And Father Snossy Puss was there looking, well, not looking the best of wear because he'd had some of me put in. I sneaked it into his milk jug, thinking he was having milk, hot milk going to bed. Sure, he had one of the favourites from the novices to shut him up and keep him quiet and stop him wandering because he sleepwalked. Oh, he did. We found him coming into our dormitory, we did, on the fourth day of the retreat before the episode of the gastrointestinal or whatever appeared. But anyway, there we were. Mother Abundancia, she got Sister Oliviaitis to get us all in line with Sister Teresina, gave us all the white candle with a little flower. I think mine had sweet pea, sweet pea, and it smelled beautiful. And we were all in a line, all 12 of us, and Sister Polly Arthriticus, of course, she was at the front because she was the eldest. Oh, no, she wasn't. It was me. But I wasn't put at the front. I was somewhere in the middle. But I'm telling you now, Sister Hilarious of Monza, she was next to Sister Polly Arthriticus. And I can't remember the next because I was so excited. I was blown me guts out with laughter and joy because I was going home the following day. I was after the picnic. But anyway, we all got in our line and the organ went on full pelt and it was beautiful. It really was. It was to die for hearing the Sanctus. Oh, listen to it now. Can you hear it? And as it was playing, we came in and all the community stood up. Oh, they did. Every one of them. And there's poor Sister Alphonse's and she's wiping the tears from her eyes. And I gave her a wink because she was a good old pet. Oh, she was. Her and her cupcakes. But anyway, putting long story short, the bish was there. Oh, I had no time for him. Oh, he was a huge, big, gross old man. Huge he was. He'd a gut on him. I'm telling you, it's no wonder they defeat him on his own. But anyway, we all came into the chapel. And we all stood there. And as the Sanctus was playing, there was a part of the service where we had to lie on the floor for the Deprofund. I think it was the, the Canon of the Saints. Sure, I had no more interest in than that. I just wanted to get myself home. But anyway, after that, but there was a problem with that because two of the sisters were snoring. They were. They were. Sister Elcianatus let us down big time. She was snoring. She was with Sister Del Cio and Sister, there was a third one, Sister Julie of Eust. Oh, I'm telling you now. Anyway, we gave them a kick and they were great. And then we stood up and then they put on the black veil. But it wasn't black. It should have been brown. But they said they ran out of the materials, so they put on this beautiful, I thought it was black, but it was blue. And then the lovely cape. You can see one hide, hanging up behind me door. And the monks just sang for us. They were so delighted singing the Missa Sancta Cuspert from the St. Cuspert Mass. Oh, Jesus, it was beautiful. There was tears in everybody's eyes. And everybody looked the bee's knees with their hair just creeping out under the veil. Lovely. And everybody commented on how well we smelt and how well we looked. And one sister, I think it was Sister Olivietta, she said, how come your nails are all multicoloured? So we whispered to her and told her that Mother Abundancia was very gracious. She had a windfall on the pools and she spent it on bringing in a beautician to do the feet. After the beautiful service, we went down for the bride's breakfast. Oh, God, it was like a fatted calf. It was to die for. There was a candelabras and flowers. The postulants and the new novices were just fantastic. It was amazing what they'd done. Jesus, the tablecloths were pristine. There wasn't even a crease. Oh, 
and there was a setting there for a queen and a king. And Sister Placipus, of course, she was fuffing and farting around, God forgive me, but I'm telling you now, they did us proud. We had a full Irish breakfast, we did. We had the porridge to start with, and then we had the bacon, the sausages and the black and white button. And then there was tater farls, that's potato cakes, and fried bread with loads of dripping, mushrooms, tomato, scrambled egg. Oh, and there was beans. Mustn't forget the beans. And fried chopped potatoes. Jesus, it was to die for. And of course, Brother Riccardi bus burping away there. But we had a great day. And then we all stood up and we all saw the Sanctus Dominus days for a beautiful day, a day to remember. Oh, Jesus, it was great. Bless you.